we got Greg uh, Peterson on the line. You can catch him on Husker Online, Rivals. Uh, he's done a work uh, for years and years uh, on those platforms. So please check out his work right there covering Nebraska football and all the hype surrounding what the Huskers have. But uh, that's a lot of talk. That's a lot of surface talk. You you grab Greg's work and then you find out so uh, exactly the personnel breakdown that we're talking here and what uh, some of the pluses and minuses are and uh, what could possibly happen. Because everybody, as you know, Greg, on the the treetop picture, grab the quarterback and the coach and say, Frost is a miracle worker. Look at what he did at UCF. And Adrian Martinez is dynamic, which he is. And both are pluses and both are, are known factors. But after that, you know, we grind it down with a guy like you to get a better feel for what's there. So when we go to the running game uh, with a Zigbo gone, what's left? How do you feel about that position? Well, Everybody knows uh, the trouble that Maurice Washington is trying to work through here with the court system in California. And, uh, you know, he's definitely going to be the front runner as long as uh, he gets cleared to play. And, you know, who knows what happens with suspensions down the road or what have you. But uh, they have a couple of doozies coming in. Um, Diedrich Mills coming in from junior college uh, was actually was a former Georgia Tech running back um, and, was their premier running back as a true freshman at Georgia Tech. And uh, he finally uh, cleared through his grades, and uh, he's here on campus now. And uh, this guy, this guy's the real deal. He's going to be a little combination of Ozigbo with his, with his power, and then uh, he, he can run. He can run. He's not a burner, but uh, not many guys are going to catch him when he gets in the open field. Um, and then you've got – some true freshmen coming in that look out for uh, I my favorite guy is Ramir Johnson. Um, you know, he's out of uh, Bergen Catholic out in New Jersey. And if you put his tape on, your jaw will drop. I mean, this guy is track speed and oh, he just uh, watch his film. Do, do yourself a favor and watch his film. You won't believe it. So, you know, I'm looking forward to having him coming in and seeing what he looks like here in fall camp. Um, Another, oh, you know, we, there's some backup guys that Wyatt Mazor, he, he's a, a local product that uh, he's, you know, been around for a while. He fills in. He's a good guy to to, uh, <clears throat> to pick up some carries when uh, guys are nurse, nursing some injuries and stuff like that. Um, and we'll see. We've got Jalen Bradley that everybody's been wanting to see. He's a local product out of uh, Bellevue West in up in Omaha. And uh, we're hoping that uh, he has a really big fall and maybe he can see the field too. So there's going to be plenty of depth in that running back position. And, uh, you know, like I said, we'll have to see what it all, how it all works out in fall camp. And, uh, and uh, Coach Held has always said, you know, he wants hard workers back there. And uh, whoever's working the hardest is going to play. So that Kentucky defense that we watched in the SEC last year that uh, churned out <clears> – <throat> a number of NFL players and high NFL draft selections was ripped up by Diedrich Mills for 169 yards and a touchdown as he was the bowl game MVP in the tax layer bowl a few years ago uh, in one of his last performances for Georgia tech against Kentucky in a win. Now he finds himself at Nebraska. 